Hello everyone, welcome to Neuroradiology Case Review Series. This is 50 something year old female who presented to emergency department with headache. As part of workups, she initially underwent CT head examination. I'm going to scroll through the CT head from superior to inferior direction. As you can see, there are hypodense bilateral convexity subdural collection. There is loss of sulci in bilateral cerebral hemispheres. As you scroll down further, there is effacement of the basal cisterns. On the sagittal images, you can see the pituitary gland appears prominent. There appears to be sagging of the entire posterior cranial fossa. There is mild tonsillar ectopia into the foramen magnum. Patient subsequently underwent MRI brain examination. On the MRI brain examination, you can clearly see thickening of the dura with enhancement. And as I scroll down further, if you look at the interpeduncular region of the Midbrain, there is marked narrowing of the interpeduncular angle. On the sagittal midbrain images, you can identify the tonsillar ectopia. It's almost 6 millimeter below the Bayesian opisthion line. And if you look at the distance between the mammillary body to the pons, it's narrowed. The angle between the pons to the midbrain is also narrowed. You can also identify the distended pituitary gland drooping of the splenium of the corpus callosum, also called as drooping penis sign. Constellation of findings is consistent with intracranial hypotension as evidenced by bilateral subdural collections, sagging of the posterior cranial fossa with narrowing of the distance between the mammillary body and pons, narrowing of the angle between the pons and the midbrain, narrowing of the interpeduncular angle, distension of the pituitary gland and drooping of the splenium of corpus callosum. I hope you found this case to be informative. Thanks for your attention.